Hey guys, welcome back to Warner Farms. So, as you can see, we got the grain drill out of here yesterday and we got the 4430 in here today. Uh, we started servicing it and we also noticed that we have a hydraulic hose leaking. Actually, just one of the fittings leaking underneath the cab here that we got to address and fix tomorrow. And uh, we'll get that fixed and get this out of here. And uh, also, big news, um, just over about, oh, two hours ago, uh, we hit 10,000 subscribers. So huge thank you to everybody who has subscribed. I really appreciate it. I started the channel back in June 6, 2015, and uh, started the vlogging back on February 24th, um, 2018, and uh, never really would have thought that I would be here right now saying that we have 10,000 subscribers, but here I am saying it's only the tip of the iceberg I feel, and I feel that we could hit 100,000 this year if we really tried. So if you like this video, if you like all my content, please subscribe. So I, re I would really appreciate it. So again, huge thank you to everybody who has subscribed. Lots more con a lot more content coming in the future. And you guys haven't seen everything yet on this farm. You know, you guys are still waiting for the purchase that we got. You're still waiting for uh, uh, my purchase I bought from John Deere the other day, which will be shown tomorrow in tomorrow's video. So look forward to that. And uh, all the exciting footage of the 8530 this year in the spring. And also all the exciting footage of uh, the uh, S690 this fall. So, yeah. For those of you just now watching my content, we run an S690 combine now. So anyways, a uh, huge thank you to everybody who has subscribed and let's get into today's video. So uh, as you guys saw, I took off the fertilizer openers, the closing wheels and the closing wheel brackets, uh, mainly because this video is sponsored by Yetter Farm Equipment and any other videos uh, associated with this will be sponsored by Yetter Farm Equipment, mainly because uh, I've been working with Yetter and uh, they are providing me with attachments for this planter, not only for this planter, but also for a 16 rail and for uh, other pieces of equipment later this year that we will be working on uh, or working with them on. So. Uh, anyways, uh, as far as attachments go, we got row cleaners, we got uh, du dual placement fertilizer openers, and we got Yetter twisters uh, for closing wheels. Uh, we'll uh, be updating those brackets. I'll buy those from Shoot, the uh, modern, uh, modern adjustable lever action, adjustable uh, closing wheel brackets. So I'll be updating those from the old style to the new style. As far as gauge wheels and disc blades go, we'll see about changing those. I have a feeling though we're going to be needing to change disc blades. Gauge wheels are mar marginal, some of them are. Um, some of them are actually fairly new. Um, we bought this planter, oh, we're the second or third owner. We bought this up in Westville, Indiana, not too far from us, maybe like a half hour. Um, precision planning, finger pickup meters in all four rows, speed tubes in all four rows. Um, not sure why he put speed tubes in them. I guess uh, his choice. But like I said, those are all the attachments for Yetter that we got. So huge, huge thank you to them. Uh, closing wheel wise for our 16 row, uh, we will be doing uh, a split planner as far as eight versus eight. Eight rows of the furrow cruisers versus eight rows of the Yetter twisters. Uh, just to compare uh, closing wheels, just because we we really like the Furrow Cruisers, but we really, really like the uh, Yetter Twister design. Um, so we will be doing a side-by-side -side comparison on that and also doing a yield trial just to see uh, what kind of yield difference there is between the two. So uh, we will take a strip out of that and do a yield trial there this fall. Uh, this summer, I will strip this down. I'll paint it. I'll put new boxes on it. Um, I'm not sure what I'll do with the boxes. More than likely, they'll just get thrown up in the hay mail and uh, we'll keep them for a future project if we ever have a use for them. Or there's a slight chance they might be for sale in the future when I do all that. But uh, anyways, um, we'll go through the fertilizer system, replace all the uh, hoses, 
and uh, possibly put an infro tank on here because we'll end up putting Keaton seed firmers on there so that way we can run infro. So either this winter, well, can't even really say winter anymore since yesterday was the first day of spring, but uh, this year, if we get infro on this, um, we'll end up having the option to run infro, which uh, we would um, just to keep it on par with our planter for all the plots that we're gonna be doing with this because this is still longer just a sweet corn planter um, hence the video title. Um, we're going to be doing plots. We're going to be doing uh, plots for our customers if they would like us to do plots with this with. If they don't want to take the time to do a plot, we can have this option to do it or they can use, utilize this for themselves for planting plots. And uh, soybean trials. Uh, we're going to be buying bean meters for the boxes and uh, doing bean trials. So hopefully we can get info on this so we can see uh, an infro trial on the beans um, and also a starter trial and a mix of both um, that way so we can get our feet wet and see what kind of yields we could be seeing um, with a 15 intro bean planter not sure uh, how we're going to do that um, as far as I know right now we're just going to do 30 intros but we might interplant them and do 15s as well um, possibly might lock up the front gang of the drill and uh, do some 15s or seven and a halfs this year. Um, but most of our beans this year is still gonna be seven and a halfs. Um, hopefully in the future though, real soon, we can get a 15 intro bean planter and uh, uh, reap the benefits of that. So really excited to try uh, these trials out and see what kind of yields we're gonna be seeing over the drilled seven and a halfs. Um, so yeah, as far as that goes, uh, this will be a really cool experimental project planner. Um, really excited to see where this takes off and uh, what all, what else we decide and find out uh, what we're going, what else we decide to do with this. So, as far as a monitor goes, uh, we run a Dickie Johns, uh, or well, this actually has a Dickie Johns monitor on it um, for this year. Uh, I don't think. We might end up buying a Gen 1 for this. Um, I'd really like to update our uh, precision planning monitor, um, our Gen 1 to a uh, the brand new uh, latest and greatest monitor. We might do that this year. I don't know. I want to look into it and see what the cost is on that. I don't know. Um, I haven't really thought much about that, and neither is Dad, but uh, I would really like to... Uh, see how much those are. I have no idea what the price is on that. Otherwise, I plan on buying that myself next year for the 16 row, being able to do that. But depending on the price, I might pull the trigger on something like that this year. Um, Gen 1 uh, for this, I would assume. Uh, maybe a Gen 2. That way, if we ever decide to convert this to a VAC, which I've... N I really don't have an interest in converting this to a VAC because it really, it, it's just a four row. You know, you really don't need to have a VAC system on this um, for the amount of acres that you're going to be planting with this. But anyways, I'm really excited to see the trials that we do with this um, as far as plots go, since we will be planting our corn plot with this, all the sweet corn, our customers plots, if they decide um, that they want to use this or they want us to come out and do it. You know, this just gives us another tool for the seed business. So I feel that's really, um, really cool that we got this for that as well. So again, huge thank you to Yetter. Um, as far as videos go, I know um, the videos were kind of off this week, uh, you know, Monday, Thursday, Friday. Uh, next week, Monday, Wednesday, Friday, expect it to be normal. As planting season approaches and uh, throughout the summer and fall for harvest, um, expect a video almost every single day, uh, if not every day. Probably not on Sunday. I don't think I would be releasing really videos on Sundays just to kind of give myself a break. Um, Saturday's kind of going to be an if day. If I do videos then, more than likely you'll probably see videos on that day um, or on those days, maybe. I don't know. It all depends on how I'm feeling on the videos for video editing, really. Um, but more than likely, probably six days a week. So you guys can look forward to that. Tomorrow, 
uh, in tomorrow's video, you guys, you guys will finally find out what I ended up buying from John Deere, so you guys can look forward to that. Um, so you guys can find out what my big purchase uh, from John Deere was. Uh, most of you guys, well, I shouldn't say most of you guys, some of you guys already know um, what actually I bought, so you guys can look forward to that tomorrow. Uh, but yeah, like I said, a lot of content coming this year. I feel we can hit 100,000 subscribers. I think we can. It's all to you guys. So if you guys made it this far into the video, I really appreciate it. And I really hope you subscribe, like this video, and uh, I'll catch you guys in the next video then.